Critical structural issues have forced the MBTA to close off two entrances to the JFK UMass station. The T says the problems are at the Columbia Road entrance to the pedestrian bridge. WBZ's Anna Myler is talking with riders. You can see the Columbia Road entrance to the JFK UMass station is blocked off with this fence to prevent people from walking down this pedestrian bridge after inspectors found structural issues over the weekend. You could see like visible cracks in the um, like in the walkway. This closure came as no surprise to Claire Fitzgerald, who regularly takes the red line from the JFK UMass station. The obvious signs of disrepair have been a concern to her for a while. Yeah, especially since like over the summer I was also pregnant and just thinking about like, you know, how do I get myself and my child to his camp and then get me on to work safely and securely. In a statement, the MBTA says they will continue to inspect the pedestrian concourse and surrounding structures. And depending on the results of those inspections, the MBTA may identify additional areas that may need to be closed and secured. I'm, I'm not really too surprised. I mean, I think a lot of the stuff is pretty old. Now passengers who normally use the concourse have to use the busway ramp to access the station. The MBTA is providing a van to take passengers there, but those who choose to walk will have to. But have to go like all the way down, cross two lanes of the traffic circle, which is also like quite scary when you're a pedestrian. This is the same MBTA station where Boston University professor David Jones died last year after falling through a rusted out staircase that was closed at the time. His widow filed a wrongful death lawsuit against the MBTA last week. Claire says she hopes to see a greater sense of urgency to make the T safer for everyone. I'm a big fan of the train, like a big proponent of the MBTA, and then just like kind of watching things fall apart and like the state government not really taking it very seriously has been a big concern for me. The MBTA says it will likely be four to five weeks before the concourse is repaired and reopened. Reporting in Dorchester, Anna Myler, WBZ News.